Hi, this is Christoph Limpler, and this is a new series on Nginx. I plan on having a few episodes that walk through installing Nginx, configuring it, and explaining the different settings and what they mean and what they do. Now, Nginx can be a little bit intimidating when you first get started with it, but as you start getting the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward from there on out. So in this episode, we're going to look at installing Nginx, and there are two different ways of doing that. The first way is by just using the package apt-get in Ubuntu, and that's probably going to be the easiest way. The second way is to install it from source. That's uh, pretty straightforward. It's a, it requires a few more steps. It's not as easy and straightforward. Now, the pros and cons is that from installing from package, it's just easier. The con with that is you're going to have an older version. So it's not going to be the, the newest version. You're not going to be able to install all the new features and extensions that are available to it. Uh, but installing from source is a little bit more complicated. Uh, but I'll show you both ways of doing it. So first of all, let's go ahead and update our apt-get cache. Just so we have the latest packages and all that. And we're just going to install the package now and let that run its course. All right, so now that's basically it. We have Nginx running. I can do version. It shows you the version that it's running, which is 1.4.6. And in a second, we're gonna install 1.8.0. So you can see there are a few versions behind when you're using the package. Now this installed it in Etsy Nginx, and we'll uh, I'll show you all the different uh, files and, and config files and things like that in a second, but let me go ahead and clear get rid of nginx start from scratch And then we'll bid it build it from source just in case you're interested if not then go ahead and fast forward um, a few minutes ahead All right, so I already ran app sudo apt-get update uh, Actually, we don't even need to do that because we're gonna wget http this is straight from nginx.org. And it's 1.8.0. Now this is the latest stable version. There is a mainline version. I wouldn't recommend that in a, a production environment because they're still developing it. They're still working with it. So this is the latest stable version that I found on their website. All right, now we have to extract it. Uh, I messed up the command, it's not a VG. All right, so now we have, well, we have the folder, we can change our directory to it. And now uh, I'm assuming this is a clean install of Ubuntu. If not, you probably already have build essentials, but if not, then go ahead and install those. We'll need them to be able to build and get the build tools. Okay, so apparently I already had them. And now I just need Nginx dependencies. It's really lightweight. There aren't that many dependencies, but there are just a few that we want to make sure we have. I think I got the spelling right. And then after this is going to install dependencies, we're going to be ready to configure it. All right, so let's go ahead and run configure. Now you could just run configure like this. It would install Nginx with all the default values. And uh, I, there's a table somewhere that I recently ran across that shows you all the default values. And for the most part, that's gonna be okay. But just for this, I'm gonna add a few just to show you how it's done. And the first one is the SSL module. So we can go ahead and run SSL on our site. The second one here is real IP module. And what this one is gonna do is it's gonna forward the real user IP. So in case we have a load balancer situation, instead of losing that user's IP, this is gonna be forwarded and we can uh, check it and hang on to it. So you may not need, need all these, but uh, just in case you do. And this right here, this module right here is going to enable Nginx statistics. So later in the configuration, we can enable a route where if the admin goes to it, they can see how many active connections and more th and more uh, uh, things you can look at as well. So that could be useful for certain people. 
All right, so that's going to run. It's going to finish. Take note of the nginx path, nginx, I'm sorry, path prefix, and all the different folders, paths, the PID file, error log file. Make sure you write this down in case you need it. Now we're going to just run make. Let it do, let it do its, its thing. And then we're going to run sudo make install. I may fast forward this so you don't have to watch. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is sudo make install. Okay, so we're good to go. And now we can actually check and see if it's installed correctly. And if I run, you know, uh, it's installed in user local nginx has been slash nginx, which we just saw earlier. And if you do dash V, it's going to show you the version. As I said, it's version 1.8.0 instead of 1.4.2, I think it was. So this is newer. We have the different config, uh, configure arguments or modules, if you will, uh, with HTTP SSL module, real IP, and the stub status. All right, so now that the thing is, we don't have this uh, ready to start up when you reboot the machine. So there's um, Linode actually came up with a a script that will enable this for you so when you restart the machine uh, nginx will start automatically which is really nice and i'm going to download it uh whoops so this is actually a great example of what developers run into all the time typos and sometimes you spend way too long trying to figure it out. But in this case, hopefully, or thankfully, it was just a few seconds. All right, so now that we have that downloaded, we need to move this script in our init.d directory and make it execu exec uh, executable. So we're going to move it to etsy init.d directory nginx. All right, so now that we have moved this, we need to make it execu executable. All right, now we need to add our Nginx to the system startup. And this is very simple. Okay, so we're good to go. Now we have Nginx installed both ways. Uh, I'm gonna revert back to the package version of installation, just because I'm assuming most people are probably going to be using that one. So let's go ahead and, and go back to that one. Okay, so I'm back to the package installation here. And as I said, the uh, nginx is going to be in our Etsy nginx. So let's go ahead and change directories there. All right, so I'm going to list it again. And as you see, there are quite a few files and different folders. The main ones that we're going to be looking at are the nginx.configuration, the sites enabled directory, and sites available directory. So those are in darker blue. Well, the two of them are in dark, darker blue. The nginx config is in the parent directory. So now the, the, the main thing or the main reason we're looking at those specifically, obviously nginx.configuration uh, has all of the important configurations that concern nginx and then the sites available and sites enabled well so sites available folder is storing all of your virtual host configurations even if they're not currently enabled so you could have multiple different sites and the reason that you have these two different ones is because you'll configure it in sites available and then you can do a symbolic link to sites enabled you could also directly move it to sites enabled or make a copy to it manually but that's just not as effective. Usually you'll want to do a symbolic link so that if you need to, you can just cut it off or re-edit just by one command, one very simple command. So let's go ahead and open up uh, the nginx config. And we'll take a look at this and explain this in greater detail, almost line by line, but sp more specifically all the important lines in the next episode so tune in for that thanks for watching